The components we will be overviewing are resistors, capacitors, diodes, and transistors. To understand these components, you need to understand the basic properties of electricity. First, voltage can be interpreted as electric pressure, current as electric flow, and resistance as electric obstruction. To start, we will talk about the resistor. It is one of the most common and practical electrical components. Its basic function is to limit current flow in a circuit. For example, here, we see an LED connected to a battery without a resistor. The battery is 5 volts, but the LED requires 3 volts. In the case without the resistor, the LED is damaged in the overload. Add a resistor while you're in series, so the voltage drops to the required 3 volts, and the LED will function properly. The resistor always consists of a current that can limit the current flow and distribute the heat. There are several kinds of resistors, each of which is a different form of indicator. Fixed resistors are the most common. They are used to set the right conditions in a circuit. Their resistance is fixed and does not change. Some types of fixed resistors are carbon film resistors, where a film of carbon material is wrapped around a ceramic cylinder in a helix. Metal oxide film resistors, where a metal oxide is wrapped in a single and wire-wound resistors, which are often used for higher power applications. Then, there are variable resistors, which have one resistor element and a slider that changes the position on the element, therefore changing the resistance. Typically, they have three needs, first being the source, the second, output, and the last, front. They can control things like volume, brightness, or rate. Moving on to capacitors. A capacitor is used to store an electric charge, however, in a different way than a battery. While a battery is designed to charge and release energy over a long period, capacitors are designed to charge and release much more quickly. A common application for capacitors is to smooth out and turn out any noise or AC interference from electronics. A capacitor consists of two conductors with an insulator dielectric separating them. The conductors have equal and opposite charges on them, creating a potential difference. Capacitance can be changed by altering the surface area of the conductive material and the thickness of the dielectric. Increasing the surface area of the conductor increases capacitance. To maximize capacitance in a small space, capacitors utilize multi-layering. In this diagram, we can see how multi-layering works. This employs the same principles as conductor, Ceramic capacitor consists of a ceramic disc or a disc with conductors on either side. These are the most common capacitors on lower voltage electronics. Electrolytic capacitors are a bit more interesting. They are polarized and often contain higher capacitance than other types. They utilize a coil of oxidized aluminum which is spaced apart by a coiled sheet of electrolytic carbonated paper. This technique allows for microscopic thin sheets to be used thus creating very high capacitance. One downside of electrolytic capacitors is their tendency to degrade over time. The capacitance will still measure the same, however, the resistance to current flow may not. This is because of a chemical degradation of the electrolyte. This can cause problems when the capacitor is used on sensitive electronics. Diodes. Diodes have many unique However, their general purpose is to limit the flow of current from one direction and from the other. In the water flow analogy, diodes can quite simply be controlled in one way valve. Diodes have two main functional factors. The first is the factor of desired current that you want to flow through the diode. It is essential to use a diode with the current data, or else the diode will fail. is exceeded, the diode will have an and allow current to flow in the incorrect direction. Some common types of diodes include the following. PN junction diode. This diode is thought of as the standard general purpose diode. It uses a PN silicon junction to control
control the middle of the current flow. It is used to rectify the recordings to make the sound. Light emitting diodes, usually called LEDs, these are used for lighting purposes. Since they are designed for lighting specifically, they have an unusually low tolerance for keeping those voltage. Because of this, it is important to be careful in wiring them into a circuit correctly. Transistors. Transistors are the backbone of modern electronic technology. Almost every electronic device uses them, and all computers must have them. Components consist of silicon, semiconductor, just as with diamonds. This means they can be conductive or non conductive. Transistors are typically either used in a switch or an amplifier. Although transistors come in many different forms, they offer their use and application. We will be looking at a common NPN transistor and how it can function as a switch. The NPN transistor is In this diagram, you can see that the device has a base pin, a connector pin, and a converter pin. The transistor is wired in series with a power supply and an LED. What you can see is that the LED is not lit because there is no current flowing through the transistor. This is because of the default. Something must change to turn the transistor on. To do this, we must apply a voltage to the transistor. You can see the collector and the emitter are wired into the circuit. However, this is not. This is where current must be applied to turn on the transistor. Once current is applied, you can observe that the LED is now illuminated and current is flowing normally through the circuit. Base, the LED turns back off as the transistor is no longer turned on. This is how the transistor can act as a source of state wheels. You might wonder what the practical use of a transistor is if you could simply use an analog switch. The practical use of a transistor is its incredible speed. Transistors in modern computers are very small and very fast, and we could not have anything close to modern computing technology without them.